Israel and Hamas in ceasefire negotiations. The administration has said you're closer than ever. Um, what are those final steps, and how is the president involved in the final stages? So I'm going to be very mindful here and not negotiate from here. And, and obviously, we have closed some gaps. You've heard us say this. Uh, some important gaps, and we feel like uh, we are, you know, closer, as you just stated in your question that was part of a readout from yesterday. Uh, our focus is going to continue to uh, have those diplomatic conversations with Middle, Middle East leaders on de-escalation uh, and the tensions there in the region, obviously uh, bringing in the, the, Caesar, the ceasefire and hostage uh, release deal to a conclusion. That's our focus. Uh, this is something that the President has talked about for some time now, uh, and his he and his team are going to continue to work around the clock to get that deal done. I'm not going to negotiate. I'm not going to get to specifics for calls that the president's making today. So no, uh, no new calls to speak of today. But uh, the president uh, continues to uh, obviously he has been engaged these past couple of days uh, with Middle East leaders. His team is continuing to engage as well with these diplomatic conversation. What we want to see is a de-escalation in the region. Those are the conversations that we will continue to have. And and to your your question. Uh, at the top there is getting the ceasefire, uh, the ceasefire deal and this hostage deal to a conclusion. That's going to be our focus. Secondly, if I may, Secretary sure. Austin's decision to overrule the 9-11 plea deal uh, has created some confusion over the legal proceedings. Was it a surprise to President Biden? Was he involved? So uh, this decision um, has this decision was made by Secretary Austin, and uh, so you certainly you're going to have to go to the Department of Defense for anything more to share about uh, about that step, the step that uh, Secretary Austin t took. I will say this: the Secretary wrote in his memo, uh, entry into a plea deal in this sense is a significant decision, and uh, and on the huge range of important and complicated issues that the Secretary uh, Austin, the Department of Defense, has to deal with. Uh, uh, this is something that uh, uh, certainly they have a huge responsibility. And so because of that, uh, certainly Secretary Austin has the full support and confidence of this president, uh, especially with active military prosecutions. And so I would really have to leave it there. This is a decision uh, that Secretary Austin made, and that is a, uh, certainly to talk about that particular step, uh, Department of Defense would have to speak to.